On the evening of March 3rd, students, faculty and staff, and members of the Frederick community of Hood College gathered on the steps in front of Kaufman Chapel to show solidarity with the people of Ukraine during the early days of the invasion by the Russian military. On what was a cold and blustery evening, over a hundred people came out to paint signs, wave the Ukrainian flag, pose for group photos, and to find out about different ways to show support and make donations. Well, I'll tell you, I came out here for this uh, event, and I thought, wait a minute, I'm kind of chilling. And then I thought about, wait a minute, what are those people in Ukraine going through? They're, they're fighting for their lives, they're fighting for their country. It's cold, it's wet. I don't have any complaints. Many were dressed in light blue and yellow, the colors of the Ukrainian flag. Before starting the walk, that would take them twice around the Hood campus, Hood senior Brooke Anderson introduced his roommate of four years, Andrew Besman, who is a citizen of Ukraine and has family still living in the country. Every morning is very tragic for us. Two days ago, two cruise missiles hit Kharkiv, a city which is located near the borders of Russian Federation and is just an hour away from Sumy, my home city. which my dad is protecting on the front line and where my mom and little sister are hiding in the bomb shelter of our apartment. This morning, my home city was heavily bombed and shelled by Russian ballistic missiles, so there is no heat, electricity, or water in the city that is surrounded by Russians. After an impassionated speech, Andrew, led the group on a walk that will loop them around the hood quad and then around the perimeter of the campus. When the group returned to Kaufman Chapel, Reverend Beth O'Malley delivered a short prayer followed by a chant from Andrew. We pray today for the courageous Ukrainian people who we know and love through our friend Andrew. And we ask your intervention in the senseless war levied against Ukraine by Russian political leaders. We pray God for protection and peace, for restoration and renewed hope. We pray for families, especially children, living through the horrors of war, the upheaval and tribulation it brings. We also pray for those protesting in Russia against these violent acts by their government and ask that you would protect, cover, and keep all protesters in Russia and Ukraine as they put their bodies on the line in the name of what is just and righteous. Glory to the Ukraine! Glory to the Ukraine! Glory to the Ukraine! Thank you guys so much.